So let's go through a couple of examples of integration by substitution, but with definite integrals. So here's my first one. The integral of 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 5 to the power 4 dx between 3 and 4. So the first thing to do is to find du by dx. So that's going to be 2. And so dx is going to be 1 half du. So I now have a replacement for the 2x minus 5 and the dx. The only problem is I don't have a replacement for 2x minus 3. So I look at the u is equal to 2x minus 5. This is similar to a previous video's question. Where if I added 2 to 2x minus 5, I get to 2x minus 3. So I add 2 to both sides. I then have a replacement for the 2x minus 3. And that's u plus 2. I also need to change the limits. So change the limits. So when x is 4... I have two lots of 4 take away 5, so 8 take away 5 is 3. And when x is 3, I have two lots of 3, so 6 take away 5 is 1. So I'm integrating between 1 and 3. 2x minus 3 is u plus 2. 2x minus 5 is u to the power of 4. And dx is 1 half du. So I can bring the half out the front. I'm going to expand that bracket. So I'm going to have u to the 5 plus 2u to the 4 du. Sorry, that doesn't look much like a 4. Let's try. There we go. It's better. So now I can integrate. So this is 1 half square bracket. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. Evaluate it between 1 and 3. Okay, so I'm going to have uh, 1 twelfth times by 3 to the 6 um, plus uh, 1 fifth times by 3 to the 5. Take away 1 twelfth times 1 to the 6, so 1, plus 1 half times 2 fifths, so 1 fifth times 1 to the 5, so just 1 fifth. So I pop that straight to the calculator. So 3 to the power of 6 divided by 12 plus 1 fifth times 3 to the power of 5 and then take away 1 twelfth plus 1 fifth. So 1,636 over 15. And that is my exact answer for that question. Okay, so let's look at this second one. The integral between 1 and 4 of x squared over 4x cubed minus 1 dx, where u is 4x cubed minus 1. So, find du by dx first. So that's 12x squared. So dx is 1 over 12x squared du. Then I'm going to need to change the limits. So when x is 4, I have 4 lots of 4 cubed. So 4 times 4 cubed, take away 1, so 255. And then I also have when x is 1, when x is 1, I have 4 take away 1, so 3. So I'm now integrating between 3 and 255. I've got the x squared on the top. I've got 4x cubed minus 1 in u, so u on the bottom of the fraction. I've got dx being replaced with 1, 12, 1 over 12x squared du. Now the x squareds here cancel. The 1 12th can come out of the integral. Integrated between 3 and 255 of 1 over u du. Now we know that 1 over u uh, integrates to log u. So this is 1 12th of uh, log u evaluated between 3 and 255. 
Now essentially you should have modulus around the U, okay? but because I'm substituting in positive numbers, it's not going to make any difference. So we've got 1 twelfth of log of 255, take away log of 3. Now using a log law, you could then write that as log of 255 over 3, okay, which is log of 85. So that's 255 over 3 inside the logarithm. And so this would be my exact answer, 1 12th log 85. So log 85 divided by 12, if you wanted a decimal approximation, is 0.37 to two decimal places. Okay? So that is how we do number 2. Now, case in point here is that you didn't need to use integration by substitution. You should have recognised this was an f prime over f problem, and that's why you got the logarithm. So you could do it that way without having to change the limits. But as a practice of integration by substitution, you can see that it works that way as well.